G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Now today I want to use my gorgeous turtle mould. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do something a bit different with him today, or her. I have got these, uh, they're not stickers, they're just um, little plastic, little plastic thingies. I don't know what they are, they're just, uh, yeah, they're not, they're not stickers, they're not tattoos, they're just little little plastic flowers. Um, so there's lots of different designs and there's some butterflies in there as well. I think I like this one. It's got some butterflies and some flowers. So I thought I would use that. Uh, just a little bag full from Amazon. Um, and I've also got, I've got these little eyes. <laughs> I've got lots of these little eyes in different sizes and different colors and the little eyeballs move. Now, I am going to attempt, and I say attempt, I'm going to try and get these eyes the right way up in my turtle, okay? Now, um, yeah, I'm not quite sure how to do it. I do know that I want to use my UV resin and my UV lamp to stick them in place, and then I can pour my resin in. So I'm going to have a little go at trying to get those in. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how to do it because it's like in there. It's going to be fiddly. Um, I'm going to pour some clear resin in there enough so that my little sticker thingy I'm going to call it a sticker even though it's not it's going to sit sort of flat like that on top of that resin um, and then I'm going to pour some just a really really pale pink maybe a little bit of glitter or something in there just to make it a, a little pretty turtle okay but I want the eyes with the eyelashes so yeah I don't know how I'm going to do this I really don't know how I'm going to do this but anyway um, I will attempt to do it. Got some icky bits over there. All right. Um, now, because see the eyes are the eyes are all the way down in there, down in there. So I guess um, I don't even know how to start this. This is running out, so I just got to turn it upside down to get a little drop out. So I guess the best way to do it is to Put a little drop in the eye there. Um, now this, I need the lashes at the top, but look, I can't really, I can't really get them in there very easily. So I'm just going to kind of push it so that it's in the eyeball slot like that. Okay. And then I can have a little look and see it's clear I can have a little look and just with my finger I guess that's the easiest way to do it whoops turn that actually no I think I've got it upside down okay oh no oh that would have been easier look just putting it in like this all right we're just putting it in like that that would have been much easier okay Oh my gosh. All right, so that's it there. I think that's it. Get that resin off my finger. I can actually see where it's going. Might need some more of the resin though. I think I kind of squished it out. Okay, but now I know what I'm doing, you guys. Now I know. Look, look, look let's do this. Let's put this on here. A nice big blob of resin on there. And then we're going to go in here, find the eye. Like so. I think that's about right. I don't know exactly. All right, let's get it under there real quick. <laughs> All right, let's hope. If it's not right, we can just peel it out and do it again, okay? That wasn't too difficult, was it? <laughs> uh, it was a bit tricky. But only because I don't know, like I've never done it before. Let's use some alcohol to get that UV resin off, off my hand. I will go and wash my hands in soap and water shortly. All right, let's give that... Um, uh, Let's just have a look. Let's just see how it's doing. Oh, 
it's still in there. Look at that. Um, I can't really. Does UV resin go white? Oh gosh. Now I'm worried. Uh, I guess I, I guess it's all right. I guess it's in there. I think. Yeah, because I've got an hour. I've got a layer of resin between the eye and the the mold. So I think once it's unmolded, it'll probably I can see it. It's just kind of I can't see it as well as it. You know when I push the eye up against the mold, I could see the eye better. But now that it's kind of settled a bit, I probably can't see it all that well. It's still in there. Still in there. All right, let's do the same with the other one. Now that I kind of know what I'm doing, use the same same finger because I'm right-handed. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Put another blob of ah, <laughs> it blew air out and blew it right away. Oh gosh. All right, let's get a blob onto that. Whoops, nice big. Blob of UV resin. Oh, it's a bit fiddly, isn't it? It's a bit fiddly. It's a bit fiddly. Put a little bit more on because some of it's run off. I do want a nice coating of it. All right, now the other eye. <laughs> That's not going to work. I do need my other finger. <laughs> gosh okay all right I'm gonna have to do it this way slide it in there <laughs> oh gosh now it's stuck to my finger I think that's I think that's about right. Can't really see. All right, let's get it under there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right, while that's curing, um, I will mix up some, just, I'll go with the Platinum 360 Plus resin. Um, and then uh, I'll be back and we'll just pour a, probably about that deep, I guess, a little layer. And then when it's tacky, we can pop that in. So. I'm going to just see how this eyeball's doing. Once it's had like 30 seconds or so, um, you can sort of take it out and have a little look, see what it's doing. Well, they're in there. They're in there. So I'll do them again this way, and then I'm going to, well, I'll turn them around and do them that way as well. So we're getting the, the other side. Okay, I won't bore you with that. I'll do a minute on this side, I'll turn the turtle over, I'll do a minute on the other side, I'll mix up my resin and I'll be right back. Right oh, I have some resin. Move this out of the way. Um, I did pop it in my vacuum chamber just for a, just for one round. Hopefully that will be good. <laughs> um, yeah, just to make sure we've got no bubbles because you know we don't want bubbles in. In your shell. Just get a little bit of tape. I can see a little dot. There we go. Now when you're pouring your resin in to make it more, oh, try and reduce bubbles as much as possible, put your stick down and pour it onto the stick. That way it's not you know going splash 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 onto itself. I can see a little bubble that I've I've created, but easy enough to just take out one little bubble. Like so, there they go. And come to the surface, little guys. Oh, I got it. <laughs> I actually picked it up. All right, let's get the other one as well. And because I did pop it in the vacuum chamber, 
if you do have a bubble it's very noticeable and you can just have a little look and see I'm going to shine a torch in there look away if you don't like flashing lights and you can see if there's any other bubbles in there all right so um, hopefully that's enough I don't know exactly how much to put in there but enough to lie my little thingy my little sticker down so probably in about three hours that'll be tacky and I can come and put the next layer on and then we can fill it up with some gorgeous pink glittery resin all right so see you for the next step okay it's been a few hours my resin has cured <laughs> it's set in the middle it's a little bit tacky on the edges but set in the middle so now this is obviously colored on one side and the other side is a bit white so we we'll make sure we put that down I'm going to turn it towards me so I can see what I'm doing and I think it's just going to go about there move it over a touch this butterfly is a wing is a little bit wider oh dear no, not like that okay I'll have to put this butterfly wing in first and then just put that down I think that will do I'll stop fiddling with it all right I think that'll do all right that will do actually this bit's not oh gosh this bit's not touching oh no it's all right I'm rub rubbing it in it should be all right <laughs> this little bit here was going up the side but hopefully it'll be all right actually there's a tiny bit of plastic there I might just trim that off that little edge bit I can get in there and snip that bit off oh it's a bit tricky a bit tricky let's see if I can get in this way I don't want to disrupt the resin that I've poured oh <laughs> oh my gosh it is a sticker <laughs> Well, there you go <laughs> I was trying to snip it off I didn't know that I didn't know it was a sticker oh, why don't people tell me these things <laughs> okay well that makes it easier then much easier gosh ah, I'm a duffer all right so now I have to just push that down not with my fingers because it's sticky we use this just to push my little sticker down okay I think that's it this, this bit here is going up the edge just a tiny bit but I don't think there's anything I can do about that at the moment that little bit of rose just wants to curl up the side a little bit all right so anyway I've got my resin um, I would like to put it into the vacuum chamber just because you know it's basically going to be a clear resin so there's no point me putting it in the vacuum chamber now and then adding the color and stirring it up so I'll see how I go um, I'm gonna add fuchsia by octopus inks I'm gonna add it slowly because I just want a hint of pink I don't want to make it like too dark so give it a really good stir see how that's looking I'm gonna add a light pink to it I'm gonna add a drop of the Signora Magenta from Pinata I'm gonna open it over there away from the cup because it gets these little dry crusty bits this is more of a pink pink rather than a this one's more of a purpley pink so 
see how that goes, two of them together. Now, initially I was going to add some of my gold sparkle. And then I thought, I wonder what it would look like if I put a little bit of chameleon powder in. I've, I've never done that, actually put chameleon powder in resin. I've only ever, like, you know, dusted a mould with it. But I'm just going to put a tiny bit in because I don't want to do the whole thing and then find out that I don't like it or it looks weird. So just add just a dinksy wincy little bit just to give a... Let's just see if we can get a sparkle. We'll see what that looks like before I go and do the whole thing. So I don't know whether it's going to change the whole colour or whether it's just going to add a sparkle. Looks a bit weird, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks it's almost black against the side of the, the cup there. Um, I do have to get a wriggle on though because my resin's going to go warm. I can't really see from that. It's changing it to a... Um, a purple. I mean, I can see some different coloured tones in there, but in there it looks quite muddy and purple, so let's not do that. <laughs> Let's not do that. It was worth a try. I'll experiment with that some other time. Um, this is what I was initially going to do. A little bit of a little bit of gold sparkle. Now, not a lot. Dip that in. Whatever stays onto that resin can go in. Um, I just want a tiny bit. This, even though it's a really lightweight um, little sparkle, it's by Color Passion, Gold Super Sparkle. Um, it still does have some weight to it, so it's still going to, you know, drop um, and sink. Now this is getting quite warm. I'm just going to go and see. I guess the th I guess the good thing about putting glitter in is if there is a bubble, you're not really going to see it because of your um because of your glitter. But I will just go and pop this in the um, vacuum chamber just for a, a couple of minutes. I'll be right back. My resin is ready. It's getting warm because it's the this is the Platinum 360 Plus. It doesn't really like to be poured too deep. So, um, or it will flash cure. Now, if you want your glitter to stay more suspended, wait until your resin's thickened up a little bit um, and then pour it. That way your glitter is more likely to stay sort of floating. I hope I've got enough here. I did uh, 100 grams of A and 43 grams of B, so hopefully I've got enough. Again, pour onto the stick to try and reduce that splash, splash, splashing. And pour slowly so it can go into the head there. I'm hoping I've got enough. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've gone into the flippers. Just, might just have enough. Oh my gosh. What's that? Must be a little bit of dried resin from, I'll be all right. I'll pick it off later. A little bit of dry resin there from this morning's pour. All right. So I'm going to add a tiny bit more onto the, onto the stick. Let it flow in. I like to dome. If I can. Now this turtle holds probably about 190 grams to be exact. So I think if you just judge it on 200 grams and then, um, you know, you've got a tiny bit left over if you need to. There's always some that gets stuck in the cup that you just can't get out onto the sides of the cup. So you could say about 200 grams. Oh my gosh. All right. Hopefully this is going to look really pretty. Now I noticed something simple. I think it would just look really nice on a little girl's um, dresser in their bedroom. So 
yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Sometimes less is more, hey? We don't always have to do a lot to get a pretty outcome. Just got to be careful not, don't torch, put it away, don't torch. Um, you can, because this is the bottom, you can spray with a bit of isopropyl on the bottom if there's any little bubbles caught to the edges. But look, they shouldn't be because I de -vacked, well, I put my resin in the vacuum chamber. Um, I poured it onto the stick nicely. So it should be okay. Something floating in there. All right, so that's it. Um, I'll just have to leave it now until demolding. So yeah, but hopefully, hopefully it'll look really, really pretty. Um, oh gosh, if I had thought about it more, maybe I could put another layer just of the um, chameleon powder, like on the bottom. I don't know. No, that, that'll be another video. <laughs> that'll be another video. Like I said, less is more. We'll just do it like this for this way. All right. Okay. See you for the unmolding. Righto. So it, um, it's uh, 9 p.m. And um, it's time to unmold our little turtle. So hopefully she'll be really pretty. I'll do the back end first. Get these little flippers out. Like so, just pull this bit down there between the front flipper and the shell, like so. Now there is a little tail in there, so if you haven't used this mould before, just be aware that there's a little tail in there. And you don't want to break your little tail off, do you? It's got to loosen everything first. And around here, we'll do the same here. We'll loosen this bit and then just pull this down between the front flipper and the shell like so. There we go, got that. There's a little bit of, bit of resin that was holding it wanting to let go. There we go, there's the little tail, look. <sighs> Probably should have squeezed the little tail. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, so that comes out really easily and then all we need to do is just give the head a little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. It's not the sort of mold that you need to, you know, spray with alcohol or anything like that to, um, to loosen it. It comes out really easily. Just give it a little pull like that. You've got these little flaps as well you can hold on to. All right. Are we ready? Are we ready? Oh, gosh. Oh, I can feel a bubble. Oh, can I feel a bubble? Oh, look, you guys. Oh, what's that? A little bit of... Did I have a bit of silicone stuck? I didn't notice that. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, look at that. Isn't she pretty? Look, look at that. Right, let's check out these eyes. <laughs> let's see if they've worked. Yeah, get your little eyeballs down. Get your little eyeballs down. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I thought for a minute it was going to be stuck. There is the other one. Look, little eyeball. And they actually move. How cute is it? How adorable is that? I, broke a, I just broke a nail before, before I started the video. Oh, that's so cute. And this one as well, look, look, little eyeball. Oh, wow, look at that. I don't know what I've done there. I've got a little piece of black card here just to see what it should looks like with black. Yeah, not a lot of difference. I wasn't quite sure. Yeah, no, I prefer it like that. I prefer it like that. She's so sweet. Oh, I love the little eyes. I love the little face there. Oh. Just adorable. Oh my gosh. And uh, yeah, look, it was pretty pretty easy sort of a thing to make. So I guess if you're new to resin um, and you want to try something a little bit simple but beautiful. Oh, I'm a bit close, aren't I? <laughs> Zoom out a bit. Gosh. Um, yeah, if you want to try something that's uh, nice and easy, um, I, I, 
I figured out how to do the little eyes. I'm really happy with the way I, I did those. They've worked out really well. So, yeah, really happy with it. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I'll take a nice photo of it for you later on. And, um, yeah, um, I will link the turtle mold down in my description if you want one. And, um, yeah, show me what you do with it. I'd like to see your ideas. Um, and I'll, I'll see you again real soon. I'll do another turtle for you really soon because I know you guys like seeing turtles. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all real soon for the next video. Take care, guys. Bye for now.